Folks, we are going to talk about something Hemlane did while I was gone. They launched a new product. It went above expectations. So much so that the CEO and the one and only Dana Dunford had to step in and become a leasing agent. So, uh, Dana, do I need to say congratulations and I'm sorry? Or, I mean, what's what's going on? <laughs> well, I think one of the things I love, uh, Michael, about us is that we can be really honest in our conversations, yeah. right? And and what it's like um, to own real estate and what it's like to manage it and how it's successful. Um, so to give you some background, uh, we launched a product and we weren't expecting as much demand that we got, which is a great sign that we had so much demand, but we didn't quite have the product and operations there is what we realized. In other words, we launched it too quickly. Um, and that's obviously a lesson on our end. Um, but so, you know, you were vacationing and wondering uh, what I've been doing. And it's been really cool because I've been able to become a leasing coordinator. And um, through that experience, it's um, awesome because when you're going through and trying to close out like 10 leases a day, there are like mm -hmm. are a couple of really cool trends that I've seen with it. Um, the first is um, the ability to educate even real estate investors who have a lot of properties on certain things. And I'll give you a couple of examples on that. Um, when we are looking at applications and stuff, we're like, are we pushing back immediately of like, do you have the move in funds? Let's like make sure we have this up front. Mm -hmm. Um, co-signers looking at that as an alternative because these tenants can stay in the properties for longer, looking at emotional support animals. And when we, we're going through and verifying them, and I can't tell you how many tenants have come back and said, okay, fine, I'll pay the pet rent, $35. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, pay, I'll pay the additional deposit just because we're sitting there pushing back saying, well, where is your verification? Yeah, or where's the documentation? Yeah. We got the documentation. We checked the therapist's license. This doesn't look like someone licensed. Can you please get an up-to-date one? Like, you right. know, that, those types of things. So it's actually been really fun um, to be on the operations side. I've really enjoyed it. Um, and I also have a lot of respect for, because we work with leasing agents, licensed le leasing agents, as well as leasing coordinators in-house. And it's like a, a newfound respect for those who do it because you have so many tenants going through the pipeline and you don't right. want to waste their time. As well, you want to be really honest up front of what they need to qualify and things like that. At the same time, you're trying to set expectations with the owner of like, do I think these are going to convert? Do we need to change something in the right. pricing? Vacancy is the worst thing. Do, like, do we need to drop the price? Maybe this week. Bad, a bad tenant is the worst thing. Yes, that is true. A, a bad <laughs> tenant is the worst. I would rather have a vacancy than a you know, a marginal tenant for sure. Definitely. Definitely. So going through that process has been um, really insightful and actually really, really fun to do over the past couple of weeks. Yeah. The one thing I wanted to ask you about, um, and if you don't have the data, it's cool. Cause we don't prep these interviews. We just riff. Uh, I've been hearing a lot about consumer debt going up specifically credit cards. So when you're getting applications, are you getting into, I'm sure you're seeing credit scores, but Oh, yeah. How are you? Yeah. I mean, is, is the average tenant becoming more debt burden? Can you tell, or maybe you can't tell? So, you know, historically, I don't have the data where it would really probably, um, a good, uh, um, assessment of it would be like a year ago or two years ago. Probably. Yeah. Probably two it's, years ago. Probably. So we'd have to actually go back. It's actually a good thing to do and look at the average credit scores then for properties versus the average credit scores now. One thing that I have seen as a trend, and this is so right and a, a good thing about innovation in the tech world, is most tenants don't have the funds or have to borrow funds for move-in. Wow. Is, is that at, new? That's crazy. Borrowing money yeah, for move-in? It's, it's been so interesting because we ask for bank statements and let's just say the rental goes for $1,800 a month. Sure. Right, that you're talking about 3,200 minimum security deposit plus first yep. month's rent. Yep. And there's so many times where we'll see bank accounts with $3,000 in it because, you know, 40% yep. of Americans live paycheck to paycheck, 50%. Sure. And, you know, of those, most are tenants. And so it's interesting because you have to have those conversations or them saying, yeah, I can get the funds before my next security deposit comes back. Yep. And, um, uh, so now we've started looking at like bank statement trends over time to be like, okay, is this something where they're always going to be like, you know, that close, yeah. that close, 
or is there some uh, room and buffer there? So that that aspect of it has been really interesting to watch. And then the real question comes down to how do you change the game and help tenants save better? Like that would be uh, a really cool new innovation wow. because most of the innovation on the security deposit side, if you think about it, is, hey, tenants, you can make it like insurance. You pay us every month. It's like, you know, flex in these accounts, sure. security deposit accounts where it's like you don't have to pay your move and deposit up front. Us as an insurance provider will pay it to the landlord. Right. But then you pay us. And then you, know, you pay us every month, but then it's um, a fixed fee and you don't get that amount back. The bigger question is how do you instill good practices with your tenants where they learn to save? How do you get them to get those savings accounts up? How do you gamify it for them? So I think that's kind of like the future. If you think property management of looking at tenants. That would be wonderful is helping yeah. tenants ga you know, gamify. I think we need to gamify money. We need to talk about money savings more. I've never thought about a landlord's responsibility of doing that, but that'd be really cool if a system or software would, would help facilitate that. at least just talking about it gamify and gamification is important yeah definitely and so i think there's a lot of things like that that will um really i mean right now we're just starting the leasing services but those questions have already come up of um it uh, of how do you help incentivize tenants from that perspective because there are certain cases where it's like a tenant's like oh i can't move until the 17th because that's when i get paid yeah, and exactly. it's like uh, but movements today, right? Like it's it's right now. So it's a, a really interesting thing to talk about. And obviously you have to build the relationship and the trust with the tenant, but there is that opportunity um, to go ahead and, and teach them about, you know, um, saving themselves and their own kind of financial success as well, which I think is a, a cool part about being in the industry and, and having the eyes and ears of, of your customer who is the tenant. Yeah, well, the other thing I want to celebrate is a little bit about you, Dana, right? You stepped in as you're right, you're CEO of the company. You didn't have to do it. You stepped in, you started taking phone calls, you started owning this. And oh, by the way, you've hired six people to fix it. So you don't have to do that anymore. Uh, but that just goes to show um how much you care, right? The people in one real at a time know that because you've created videos helping them walk through the solution. But I want to celebrate you for a minute because I've been in tech a long time and I can count on one hand the number of CEOs that would have actually picked up the phone and, and got in the trenches. So uh, congratulations to you. Thank you. Yeah, it's been fun. I've been talking to a lot of tenants and um, all throughout I've, my geography of um, the U.S. and the suburbs is 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 getting is improving. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of that one. Now I have. There you yeah, go. Yeah, totally, well, totally. So well, it's Dana, if, if somebody wanted to get a, a trial and see what this who no le new leasing function is, where would they go get it? Yeah, go to www.hemlane.com. Um, just mention Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, either one, because you get 20% off your first year. There you go. Thank you so much, Dana. Thanks so much.